China is providing both food and non-food items to try to help address the humanitarian situation in South Sudan. The UN estimates that 7.1 million South Sudanese people could be food insecure this year, and China is donating commodities such as rice, blankets, and mosquito nets. Beijing says attaining peace for South Sudan is part of its agenda too. The Chinese side also works very hard along with uh, South Sudanese governments and the relative uh, parties from uh, South Sudan and the out of South Sudan, that is the EGAD countries and the international community, to promote the peace process here in South Sudan. South Sudan's four-year war has displaced millions of people, forcing them to leave their farms behind and becoming dependent on aid. China also has close ties with South Sudan's ruling party, the SPLM, donating office equipment such as computers and sending SPLM members for training in China. Beijing is one of the prominent investors in South Sudan's oil sector, but the ongoing war in the country is negatively affecting the oil business, with production in some oil fields halted. Juba says it aims to replicate the good governance of the Communist Party of China, or CPC. SPLM considers CPC as a role model of um, transformation, political and economic social transformation. And these are the experiences. The SPLM as a ruling party and the Republic of South Sudan should actually learn from. China is also donating medical equipment and medicines to South Sudan's Ministry of Health and further bringing in medical personnel to train South Sudanese doctors and nurses on the job. Beijing says it will also continue to support Juba in other developmental projects. Patrick Coyette, CGTN, Juba, South Sudan.